What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com continuing my series on features that I think should be added to SketchUp. This week, one of the modeling functions that most people are going to have to use at some point, beveling. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so just kind of a quick note, I do not work at SketchUp. I have no control over the features that they decide to add, but what I can do is I can make the case for features that I think should be added. Maybe this will just be a fun exercise, or maybe somebody from SketchUp will see the video and think about maybe adding some of these features. I don't know, but you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Let me know what you think about these new feature ideas in the comments below the videos. All right, so bevels are actually really important when you're creating models in 3D. Um, there's a few different reasons for this. So one of the reasons is because a lot of the time it's actually a design feature, right? So a lot of the time, for example, you might want a shape like this one and you might, might, might want the corner beveled off like this for whatever reason. Um, edges of countertops get beveled, all sorts of things in the real world get beveled. And this is actually something where we do have to create these a lot in 3D. Now, one of the problems with this, SketchUp currently does not have a bevel tool. What that means is that means if you wanna bevel off edges, you need to draw either a manual line across a corner or a curve like this, and then you need to extrude in order to create a beveled or rounded edge. This can be extremely time consuming and also very frustrating if you start having um, multiple different corners that come together or other things like that. Now, the way that it works right now in SketchUp is say that you wanted to round off or bevel off the whole top of this object, you could use the follow me tool in order to do that, right? So you can use this in order to create that bevel. That's great until you run into more complicated conditions, like what if you wanted to bevel off this edge as well? There's really no good way to kind of like create that rounded beveled edge at the moment with the tools built into SketchUp. And this is something that we use for prepping for rendering as well, because edges that come to a point aren't as realistic. So a lot of the time we have to come back in here and bevel these edges off. And there just isn't really a solution for that. Now let's take a look at some other programs and see how they handle beveling objects. So the first example that I'm gonna use is Blender. So the way that Blender does this is when you jump into edit mode, right? This is a mode where you just jump in here and you edit geometry like this. You can select individual or mul multiple edges and do a control B to bevel. And notice how as I move my mouse, this is going to bevel the object off based on whatever length I want. I can roll my mouse up and down to set the number of segments that are in here when I do this. This also works with multiple edges across corners like this. So if I select all of these and do a control B, notice how it's going to bevel those edges, including the corners right here. And this does work live, meaning I can scroll my mouse up and down in order to bevel these edges off. And then once I'm done, I can just click in order to set this. Notice how a little menu pops up in here where you can set the way that things like the intersections work, right? So I can set if this has a grid fill on the corner or not. I can set the way that this is mitering different things and I can adjust things like the actual bevels themselves once I start them inside of Blender. In addition, it also has a non-destructive modifier that you can use in order to set bevels that are adjustable. So when I adjust this, right, notice how this is actually a modifier, meaning it's not actually destroying the geometry or changing the geometry. This is something that I can also, and I'll jump over into shaded mode, I can toggle on and off. So this is something where I could actually come in here and I could make changes, right? So if I selected this face and inset it, right here and extruded it down. And then I tabbed it back out of edit mode and toggled this back on. Notice how those edges are being beveled in here. Now the extension bevel for SketchUp does something very similar, which we'll talk about in a second. So this is how bevels are handled in Blender. In a program like Fusion 360, you've got a tool, um, it's actually broken up into two tools, the fillet or the chamfer tool. And you can use this in order to select multiple different edges like this. You can round them off and you can also set like the kind of corners, right? So I can set if this is a setback corner or a rolling ball corner. I can make changes and adjustments. I can add edges to here. So like for example, if 
I click on the plus button right here, I could add additional edges and bevel those as well. And notice how some of those bevels can be set to a different depth too. So if you wanted a shorter bevel over here and a longer bevel over here, you can make that change. So again, adding bevels to objects is really easy in a lot of other programs. And I'm a little, I'm a little confused as to why this tool hasn't been added to SketchUp. And so now let's jump back into SketchUp and we can take a look at a couple extensions that do beveling. So the first is going to be Fredo Corner. Fredo Corner is a tool from Fredo 6 that creates bevels. So if I activate Fredo Corner, this is gonna give me the ability to select multiple different edges or faces, right? So I could select these faces if I wanted to, or edges, and I can set the offset of the bevel, right? So if I type in a value of four, that's going to adjust. So you can use this in order to quickly set places that are going to get bevels like this. And then I can click in order to place this. And so I can also adjust things like the way the corners are created, right? So if I wanted to, I could set this to have more of a circular corner like this, or I can also set the curve of the corners in order to adjust the way that those are going to be handled. I can also preview that geometry by toggling the preview button right here. But this tool has both rounded edges as well as just like a simple um, chamfered edge, which is just gonna take one corner and bevel it back like this. So Fredo Corner has this built in. So Bevel from Mindsight Studios does something very similar, right? It lets you come in here and select like a number of edges or faces, depending on what you wanna do. And then once you do that, you can click and drag in order to set a bevel like this. And it gives you kind of like a visual preview of what that's going to look like, right? So that comes in here and that allows you to quickly make those changes in bevels. Um, this extension is unique in the sense that if you group this geometry, there's a non-destructive tool right here called Live Bevel. And what that's gonna do is very much like what the uh, tool in Blender does, where you can set the number of segments that are in here and you can see these better if I toggle my hidden geometry on, um, but you can adjust the depth of the tool like this. And notice how it's actually showing up in 3D, but then if I make changes to the object, right? So let's say I was to say split this face out. And then extrude it. That live bevel is being applied to that object. So if I offset this face in, and then push pull this back in, notice how that bevel is still going to be applied in here. So this is applied in more of that modifier style where you can adjust that simple geometry um, and it's going to live update the geometry with bevels inside of your model. So this is definitely possible. Two plugin or two extension developers have figured out ways to do this inside of SketchUp, but what I don't understand is why such a fundamental tool isn't already contained inside of SketchUp. Um, it's kind of one of those things that when you're comparing SketchUp to other programs, there's really no answer to it. Like why doesn't SketchUp do bevels? I don't know. It's kind of a fun fundamental modeling tool. So for me, this is something that I think should be added, A, just to keep SketchUp relevant in the conversation of features and functions, but B, because you do so many countertops and um, other things like that that need bevels, right? Like your countertops rarely look like this, right? Your countertops are always, or pretty much always, going to need at least like a little curve or something like that on the front in order to make them look kind of realistic. Now, one thing I will say is if the desire is to keep SketchUp simple so that you're not creating a whole bunch of extra geometry, which maybe the materials don't work as well with or something like that, I'd be 100% okay with this getting added as like an official extension for SketchUp that if advanced users wanna use it, they definitely can. But I just feel like there should be an option in here to do this without you having to resort to paid extensions to add this functionality to SketchUp. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about adding bevels to SketchUp. I just love having that conversation with you guys. I will be adding additional features to that playlist, which I will link to on this page. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.